Now to the third method using prime factorization. And here we have the rules listed. Write the prime factorization for each denominator. Circle the maximum number of times each factor appears in one in any one factorization. And then we're going to multiply all of the circled factors. So let's try an example. Find the LCD of 1 over 6 and 3 over 14. So we're going to list the prime factors. Look at your denominator. We have 6 and 14. Now I would use this method being if we had numbers that were very large like three digit numbers or a two digit number to a three digit number this method would come in handy but when you have smaller numbers like 6 and 14 you can just list the multiples that way and it will be a lot uh, quicker but we can also use this method here so listing the prime factors for 6 and 14 prime factors for 6 well, what times what? We're going to use a factorization tree. What times what would give us 6? We have 2 and 3. 2 is prime, 3 is prime, so we don't need to go any further. List the prime factors of 14. We have 2 and 7. So now it says here we're going to circle the maximum number of times each factor. So we have a factor of 2, we have a factor of 3, we have a factor of 7. Each factor appears in any one factorization. So for 6 and 14, how many times, uh, how many times do you see 2 appearing? Well, we only see it one time. So we just choose one. We don't have to worry about the other two because it's just appearing that one time. Now we have a factor of three. How many times does a three appear? Just once. So we're going to circle that. And then for seven, we have a factor of seven. How many times does the seven appear? Which is one time. So now we have two 3 and 7 that we're going to multiply those factors together to find the LCD. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 7 is 42 and this is our LCD. Find the LCD of 7 over 20 and 1 over 24 and we're going to use the prime factorization method to find the LCD of the two fractions here. So let's list the, the prime factors for 20 and then 24. Prime factors are 20. What two numbers, when we multiply them, those two numbers would give us 20. 4 times 5. 5 is prime, so we're going to break down the 4. We have 2 and 2. So the prime factors for 20, we have... 2 times 2 times 5. Let's look at 24. Writing the prime factors for 24, what time, well, what two numbers, when we multiply them, would give us 24? You can use 2 and 12, you can use 3 and 8, we can use 4 and 6, it doesn't matter. As long as you have the two exact numbers that would give us 24. 4 and 6, they're not prime numbers, so we're going to break down 4, 2 and 2, and we're going to break down 6. We have 2 and 3. So prime factors of 4, 24, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So let's go in, going back to the steps. Once we write the prime factorization for each denominator, we're going to circle the maximum, the maximum number of times each factor 
appeared. So we have factors of two, we have factors of three, we have a fact of factors of three and five. So look at 20 and 24. Which number has the greatest amount of twos that's appearing here? The 24. You have the greatest amount there. Okay, so we're going to use what we have circled to write our answer. Now let's look at, we have a fact of 3. Which number has a fact of 3 and how many times does it appear? Well, the 24 and the 3, the number is 24 and we have a fact of 3 and it appears once. And then we have a factor of 5, where which number has a factor of 5, which is the 20 and it appears once. So the twos, the two twos are not needed because we're looking at the greatest number of times each factor will appear. So let's write down the factors. We have 2, 2, 2, we have a 3, and we have a 5. So now we're going to multiply. Let's just go in order, some practice. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. And 24 times 5 is 120. So our LCD is 120.